What up, family? Getting support, Mary Dash Twenty Mary Lee. Today is November the twenty sixth, twenty twenty two, in my city, Chicago. Sexy Saturday. Look, this is a for real video. This going out to whoever cares about themselves. It ain't even got nothing to do with Bloods, Crips, uh, Black Right. You understand? What I'm saying rich, poor, none of that. This this uh, revolution is about. It's an independent revolution. I did a Christmas rap a long time ago. My ex girlfriend, Donna Marie Evans, aka Cookie. You understand? We wanted me to perform at this club not too far from um, where I reside, 6210 South Kimball Avenue, Chicago, North 637 on 63rd, and uh, like right around Cottage Grove. The club is no longer there. It was called a 411 Club. You understand what I'm saying? And um, I tried to do a Christmas rap, and I had the Christmas, you know, Santa Claus uniform on or whatever and stuff. Uh, and, you know, I forgot my own words because she was rushing me. I never got a uh, chance to really remember. You understand what I'm saying? But I did a, I did another version or whatever. But um, yeah, it started off, you know, uh, tis the season to be jolly. First, I like to say what's up to everybody. And then after that, it kind of went blank. But I did a, another version I probably put in the description of this one. You understand what I'm saying? But then you got this, this movie out called... Uh, uh, Violent Night or something. Violent Night. You know, Santa Claus, you know, taking revenge on people who are trying to mess up Christmas or whatever and stuff, you know, but it's a lot of, you know, um, you know, demonic spirits around this holiday season or whatever and stuff. You have to be careful and stuff, and especially the ladies, you know, every time I leave about my little trap building, somebody hating every time I'm on the way, coming back to somebody like, you know, you understand what I'm saying? Now I understand I may have so-called Mary McAmara, but you got to remember, I don't get monetized for these videos. I don't have a cash app. I'm on a fixed income, and I'm not willing to die for uh, $10,000 a year. So, you know, every day I work out or whatever and stuff, I advise people to, you understand what I'm saying, do the same. I know you can't stop a bullet or whatever and stuff, but, you know, at least you want to, you know, die trying to uh, defend yourself or whatever because these guys, whoever paying them or whatever, somebody gassing them up, whatever the case may be, you know, in AA they say, after a while, you won't know the difference between the real and the fake. You understand what I'm saying? AA meaning alcohol is anonymous because things are getting that weird out here. You know, you, you don't know if people real, you know, like real or real Slim Shady, please stand up. And, you know, real or real Mary Mike Mar, real or real K Solo, the one that really started it, not Marsha Bruce Matters the third Slim Shady. But, yeah. You know, so you got a lot of people who was waiting for their turn and stuff and waiting on reparations and waiting on a cure and waiting for this and waiting for that. And now, you know, people are putting other people on their bucket list and stuff. You understand that feel maybe they may have, you know, kept them back or any reason they think, you know, people think, you know, but the media perpetuate everything. So, you know, you know, they make it seem like I'm the reason why y'all not getting reparations. No, every time y'all supposed to get it, y'all don't stand up. Y'all always go for somebody else who never did nothing for you. And I've been in your face all, my, all along and stuff. I've been doing this ever since I was, you know, six years old, 1973, standing up for myself and against, you know, people who like violating children and babies and, you know, ladies that, you know, make the babies like Tupac said. They will hate the ladies that make the babies. And that's the truth because most guys don't want the responsibility. They want the uh, perks that come with it. Like, you know, you know, the hardest job a person could have you know, is being a mother and stuff. Now, imagine a person like myself trying to um, glue all the pieces together, allow the uh, dream to come true with Martin Luther King, bring everybody together, you know, on my Malcolm X by any means necessary, then trying to raise me and raise the consciousness of people who wasn't conscious and stuff. And then you got drug addicts and whoremongers and murderers trying to keep them off your ass and shit like that. And then you're surrounded by them and you try to tell them, look, I walked that same walk before, you know, I could have been you 10 times, you know, over or whatever and stuff. But if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't still be alive to get high, drink, drugs, smoke, corn, a cake, or live your best life. You understand what I'm saying? I have yet to live my best life, and I'm not going to be going for the bark and this, that, and the third. Now, there's a guy by the name of uh, Charleston, um, whatever his name is. See, I can't even think of it because, you know, I don't I don't think like them, but, you know, I don't want to, you know, give him that must. You know, saying whatever, but he's out there doing his doing the most or whatever. I will say Kevin Gates because he's really got a bigger platform and stuff. And I listened to both of them at one time. I thought, you know, they had a little common sense. You understand what I'm saying? I, I thought they had maybe a little common sense, but, you know, they don't. You understand what I'm saying? They're doing the most and stuff. Kevin Gates 
doing his shows. You know, y'all talk about the Illuminati and Jay Z um, throwing up, the, you know, pyramid and all that. You know, you know, but now they just outright, you know, doing the most on stage. Kevin Gates talking about, you know, <laughs> I put it in the description and you understand what I'm saying y'all seen it, y'all heard it, and then this this Charles Charleston guy or whatever going in talking about. You know, Chicago can whoop out the band pulling out guns. Now, look, I might be from Chicago. Okay, I am. But I'm a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and the rest came from people like you. So wherever, you know, I am right now in Chicago, you know, my people is where you at, is uh, in Africa, everywhere and shit. You understand what I'm saying? We have to stop thinking, you know, so low vibration and stuff because they said after a while they'll be raping your babies in front of you. So we're going backwards. they already talking about rape, this, that, and the third and stuff. You understand what I'm saying? And, you know... They pulling out guns and stuff because they don't like independent, strong ladies and stuff. I'm saying you got one shot to hit me, and that's right here in the head and stuff, for real. So, you know, unless y'all going to walk around with all motherfucking goddamn bulletproof armor on and shit, you understand what I'm saying? No one's exempt from dying. That's why I'm trying to keep a cool, tone, mild, you know, manner about myself to let you know. You know, don't let them drugs and alcohol amp you up thinking you... Superman and, you know, Speedy Gonzalez and, you know what I'm saying, a speed demon because, you know... If it's getting like that, you know, they need to round them up now. Maybe they need to bring in martial law because it's obvious the mayor can't do anything. The police is not helping the situation. And it seems like everybody drinking drugs and smoking and fornicating, wondering, you know, what I'm doing and stuff. And I'm just, you know, being me, trying to stay away from BS and stuff and trying to guide the ones that got a problem into having a better solution about themselves. You know, now I know everybody not a Mary McAmire. I know everybody not a hater and stuff. And if you get a better understanding of what I'm doing, then that's trying to save us both regardless of what you are, who you are, whose you are. You understand what I'm saying? Because one person can fuck it up and one person can save it. And you don't know who that person is. And what if it is me? You understand what I'm saying? To fuck it up or save it and shit. Now, I knew y'all was going to mess up the whole goddamn city, try to get back at me or whatever because of that Obama drama that you know, y'all thought, you know, it was going to liberate you and stuff with gay rights. And then nothing would give you coronavirus and, uh, you know, diseases and drugs and stuff like that. See, when, when I was up, everybody was making money. Everybody's not making money any longer. I can't even do what I want to do and stuff because everybody looking at me like, you know what I'm saying? You know, you can't come up, you know, because we up. That's what they think. But what, what, what they don't realize is you wouldn't be up if it wasn't for me. And if I die, they're going to take you all the way back. So you can believe what you want to do. You know me. I break these balls and stuff. You understand what I'm saying? And I'm not going to keep going back and forth because I got my life to live. I put myself on my bucket list. And guess who on there too? You motherfuckers and shit. So I'm not going by myself. I flip that Bible and stuff. So this is not going out to anybody in particular. Let motherfucking goddamn Charles, whatever his name is, Charleston, you know what I'm saying? Let him do him. He said he'd been to Chicago. Okay, nobody messed with him. Good. You understand what I'm saying? Ain't nobody, ain't nobody trying to mess with you. If you're just trying to get money and build up your, you know, reputation, cool. Ain't no everybody trying to, you know, come up and shit. This is the chance for everybody to be themselves, which means if that's who he is, that's who he is. Let him do him and stuff. And, you know, something good or bad happen to him, that ain't on you. That's on him. You understand what I'm saying? So we need people to come up out and act like who they are so we all know who is who and who ain't. You understand? Y'all know who I am. I'm about my money. But if, since I can't get none, you understand what I'm saying? The way I used to and stuff, you know, I, I got to be about my business of, you know, keep my eyes on you motherfuckers and shit. I'm the babysitter. Now, I was the back catcher. You know, now I'm the babysitter. All right, here we go. Check it out. Since we ain't got nothing but a bunch of king babies and stuff, you know, everybody acting like children. You know what I'm saying? Got grown men not protecting the home front. You understand what I'm saying? Got the women scared to death and the babies pissing in their beds and shit. All right. Got the white people happy as hell. I got the five and the one. I was six years old when I started this in 1973. I got five on me. White people gonna follow you regardless. Why? Because they know. They owe. For real. But not only that, you know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm one of them too. So it could go either way and shit. You understand what I'm saying? Wherever that wherever I go, they gonna be there. Cause why? I'm part Caucasian, nigga. For real. I mean, I'm gonna join the Bloods, the Crips, the Ku Klux Klan, and Black Panthers, all that. You understand? I don't discriminate. I figure I need all of the money. I ain't just gonna, oh no, no, I ain't turning down nothing but my, I ain't turning down my collar. Real fucking so. There you go. Now, this is a uh, chapter 
three first kings is on what's that three three four and this is three three five now this say 1335 east 75th street this is where i became the originator of rapper this is where at six years old in 1973 i'm no i don't speak this loud about something i don't know you know i was um violated you know what i'm saying before i went there and while I was there. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. You see, I put the one right here, 1335 East 75th Street. I said, this says a real mother's love. Only a real mother would do this. You understand what I'm saying? As far as what I'm doing, trying to save you and stuff. It says, I, I, 1995, I gave Oprah Winfrey, you know, my child abuse rap again or whatever and story or whatever and stuff. So, you know, they going after the real ones and stuff because they want to rape your babies. They want to do the most like they did to me when I was a baby. You understand what I'm saying? I had lice. I had diseases. I had all that. And they they um gave me the cure and stuff. And they trying to do it to me again and stuff. And they just don't know how to do it. I didn't had a bad dream last night. You know, it got me up out of my sleep and stuff for real. Right here, it says 705. It might be a little... A little bit off, a little bit early or whatever, but nothing happens in this world by mistake. It was 750 over here. You understand what I'm saying? Whatever time it is, it is what it is. If it's 703, it would I wouldn't doubt. I can't see because of this phone or whatever and stuff, real talk. But everything's on time. You understand what I'm saying? And they know I know what I'm doing. They know I'm trying to save the uh the ladies. This is on this cha first Kings chapter three and four, and you know, go bucks. Real fucking tough. Um, look, I had a feeling they was going to try to rape me one last time like doo-doo. You understand what I'm saying? This is time for real people that they come, because they're coming after the ones who got the money, too. You understand what I'm saying? So for the ones who threw me on the bus in Atlanta, you better you better, you better be careful, because if I pop up again and stuff, you know damn well I didn't do nothing to you all and stuff. Now, if I pop up again, it's only going to be because, you know, I'm trying to get, let y'all know I'm on, wherever, I'm cool. You understand what I'm saying, nigga? I'm not out to, you know, Hurt no goddamn body. Now, I would love to get my shoes back that I left. You know, them light-up shoes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was a gift, nigga. So whoever got them, you know, don't think it's just about me now. It's about everybody. I told you I ain't going by myself. And this says trading places right here. So they trading places with us, with the originals. The originals is getting thrown on the bus, and the clones is taking over. They all on the internet. They on TV. They on the radio. Because y'all didn't stand up. How long did y'all think they was going to wait? We had them. Motherfucker, I, I put the shit together for over 40 years and y'all threw me under the bus thinking you had one more run. Y'all was being greedy. Now I'm finna join forces with who? The ones who want to fucking win, nigga. I'm just as low as these motherfuckers. You understand what I'm saying? And whatever they promise you, niggas, they lying. I'm telling you, whoever promised you something to get to me, they lying. As soon as y'all kill me, guess what? Game over. Real fucking tell. So, you can't give me no money. You can't look out for me. The least you can do is make sure nothing happens to me. For real, for real. And if it does, I don't care. I'm going to heaven. You understand what I'm saying? They don't pay me enough to care. That's the honest guy's truth. So with that stuff, you game up. I never lose. 1335 East 75th Street. If you go there in my city, Chicago, they got a door that looks just like this. It didn't look like that before. And I double back and I say, yeah, they definitely snitching. Peace.